Our top stories this week. Once again, fake guns cause real problems for police. Two people were hospitalized and a family pet killed in a head-on collision in West Kelowna. And a series of fires keep Okanagan fire crews busy. For Jen Zielinski, I'm Grant Scott with Castanet's Week in Review. For the second time in a month, Kelowna RCMP were forced to pour a large number of resources into what turned out to be a false alarm. On Wednesday afternoon, they responded in force to a report of two men witnessed wearing camouflage and armed with semi-automatic weapons. Police mobilized around 14 vehicles, an RCMP helicopter and a dog unit, and also blocked off three streets. Sergeant Alex Lynch says it turns out the weapons were airsoft guns manufactured to look real. Two men, both in their mid-twenties, were briefly arrested. However, no charges were made. Two people were rushed to Kelowna General Hospital following a head-on collision on Shannon Lake Road Friday morning. The crash occurred around 8.30 a.m. at a curve near Shannon Lake Golf Club. A Cadillac heading eastbound crossed the center line and collided head-on with an SUV. One of two people in the SUV was taken to hospital, and the single occupant of the Cadillac was also hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. There was one casualty in the crash, however. A dog riding in the Cadillac died as a result of the impact, prompting police to remind pet owners to secure their animals while driving. Go to your local uh, veterinarian uh, service or pet store and buy the appropriate harnesses and they clip into the seat belts. That would save the dogs or cats from serious injuries or death. Two dogs in the SUV escaped with minor scrapes and bruises. Firefighters in the Okanagan were kept busy last week dealing with a number of residential fires. A North Okanagan family had just minutes to escape with their lives after their home on Silver Star Road burst into flames early Thursday morning. And fire ripped through a home on Lodge Road in Lake Country early Tuesday morning, sparing the occupants but totally destroying the structure. The residents say they heard an explosion before they fled the home. I really think what happened was uh, one of the vehicles caught fire. It was either the truck or the van, one of the two, and uh, just went from there. Two pit bulls had to be euthanized after they killed a smaller dog Monday afternoon. The pit bulls escaped their owner's yard on Weber Road, then attacked a Shih Tzu named Jack on the front porch of his yard. The pit bulls grabbed Jack and went running down the street, past the school, and eventually back to their own home about four or five blocks away. They call her Duchess, and she's graced Vernon's Polson Park for almost 25 years. Duchess is a swan, and earlier this week someone noticed she was injured. So they called the Swan Whisperer. Ron Gibson has been friends with Duchess for 15 years. But she's cut all under the arm. When I heard she was injured, boy, it hurts. And Duchess is now reported to be on the mend. That wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. For Jen Zielinski, I'm Grant Scott. Thanks for joining us. Remember to send in your news tips to news at castanet.net.